Hi, my name is Rachel with Gentle Frog. In today's video of Custom QuickBooks Training, I want to talk to you about how to create invoices for your client. I'm creating a video series for the user who hasn't decided between QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop. So I'm going to show you how to do things both in the online version as well as the desktop version. This will hopefully give you a chance to decide which version of the software you might like better for your business. So to create an invoice, uh, first I'm going to start with QuickBooks Desktop, which is what you're looking at now. You know that it's QuickBooks Desktop because it says so on the top in the blue bar, Desktop 2020. You can also tell because there's standard things like file in the upper left hand corner. When you look at QuickBooks Online, it doesn't look like that at all. QuickBooks Online is more like a web page and there is no file in the upper left hand corner. So let me show you. In QuickBooks Desktop, if you want to create an invoice, you have this dashboard or home page. You can come down to the bottom where it says create invoices. So let's do that today. So it's going to create an invoice. We're going to say for a sample customer because we're just oh so creative. I'm really not going to explain what you see here. I just want you to see the difference between the way the two interfaces work. So I'm making an invoice for awesome service, services provided for things and stuff of $100. And then if I wanted to, I can email it to my client. I would click the email button at the top of my screen. Otherwise, I'd click save and close on the bottom. I want to pretend, fast forward in the future, and pretend that the invoice is being paid. So I've checked my mail, I've got the payment from the client, and I'd like to mark this invoice as paid. The easiest and fastest way to do that is to go to the middle of your screen, the middle of the home page, and click on the little button that says receive payments. What you'll notice in QuickBooks Desktop is that there's kind of like a flow, right? These little lines have tiny arrows. So create invoice has a little tiny arrow to the right that says receive payments. So we're going to do exactly that. We're going to receive the payment. In the upper left hand corner, we're going to say who the money came from. It came from sample customer. How much did they pay us? They paid us $100. We're going to say they wrote us a check, check number 123. I'm going to indicate check here, and then I'm going to say save and close. So that's it. That's create an invoice and receive payment in QuickBooks Desktop. I'm going to show you the same thing in QuickBooks Online. So here's our QuickBooks Online. We don't have one of those groovy little dashboards like you just saw. Instead, all of our actions or many of our actions are going to live in the upper left hand corner. In the upper left hand corner of our screen, we have a button that says new. And then instead of having arrows, we just have columns. So under the column of customers, I'm going to say I'd like to make an invoice. So I'm going to type in sample customer. I don't have sample customer in my uh, list yet, so I'm just going to add them and then click save. And now they're in my list. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to say sample service. Uh, let me just pick something I already have in my list. I should have done that. Consulting. So this person is receiving consulting, $100 worth of it. Save and send means send the invoice to my client via email. I can change this drop down to say save and close. So that's what I'm going to do here. Now we're going to pretend that it's the future. We've checked our mail and we've got the, the payment from our client and we'd like to apply that payment. In the upper left hand corner, I'm going to click on the new. It's our alternative to the home page or dashboard we saw in QuickBooks Desktop. Under the customers column, I'm going to click on receive payment. So sample customer. And we'll say they paid us a check. Check number one, two, three. We're going to go over to the right and say that we got $100. It applies to this invoice. And then we're going to say save and close. So that's it. That's creating an invoice in QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online. It's a little bit different and a little bit the same. As I go through this video series, I'm going to show you how to perform various tasks comparing both of the softwares. 
Again, I want to emphasize that it's not that one software is better or one software is worse. It's more that as a user, you might have a preference for one or another. You might look at one and say, that totally clicks and makes sense to me. Or you might look at something and say, I, I don't really like the way that looks. So I, I just want to create like a series of videos to give you a sense of, of what both softwares look like. So you can make a decision for yourself if they're both equally good for your business. Please feel free to comment, send me an email or schedule an appointment with me. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.